Let's make this project left-handed. Need more detail on completing a virus blanket? Welcome to my nine-part series on stitch by stitch, round by round of completing a virus blanket. Let's make it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Welcome to part two of my nine part tutorial showing stitch by stitch, round by round for the virus blanket. This we completed already was part one, which is rows, rounds one, two, and three. Let's move on to round four. So get your circle that you made before and your hook and let's continue. All right, so round four starts with chain five. One, two, three, Four, five. In this round, all the chain fives are going to start corners for you. In this, where we where we begin is the first half of this corner. We start with half of a corner and we end with half a corner. And I think that's why where some people get a little bit lost because they wonder where the rest of their corner went. So when you chain you chain five here, and we're going to start a corner. Skip this first chain space right here and do a single crochet in the next one. So we have our five chain space right here secured with a single crochet. Chain three. Skip this chain space and go over to this one with a single crochet. Chain three. Skip this chain space and jump over here with a single crochet. Chain three. Skip the next chain space, jump over to this, the next the next one, and a single crochet. So the trick here is you're always going to, at the end of a corner, you're going to work on the side right here. You're always going to have three sets of three chain space secured with single crochets. So there's our five. That's part of a corner. This is the side. And now we're going to make another corner. So a corner is a five chain. Just a little bit bigger. Three, four, five. Skip this chain space. Single crochet into the next one. So this whole side is done. Now we have to finish this corner. Do another five chain space. Two, three, four, five. Skip and single crochet. See what we did here. There's our very first half of a corner. There's the side and here is a corner. So what we just made was this. The loops we'll start one half, boom, 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 and a corner. We're going to do that one more time. After we're done with our chain fives, it's always a set of three chain threes, the skip, and a single crochet. Chain three for the second time. Skip, single crochet. And the third time, skip, single crochet. And we made the second line, the second wall. And we made the second row. Here we go. There's our corner. Right here. And there's our side was going to be three in between our chain fives. So we're going to chain five again. There's my chain five. Skip this, skip this chain space, single crochet in the next. Chain five again to complete the corner. Skip the next chain space jump over here with a single crochet.
So there's our, that's where we started. One, two, three, three chains. Two, five chains. One, two, three, three chains. Two, five chains. So I think you've probably figured out the pattern there. Skip this. With our, we're going to chain three right here. Skip and single crochet. Chain three for the second time. Skip that chain space over here. Single crochet. And one more. Chain three. Skip this chain space. And single crochet. So there again, that's the corner we did before. Three more sets of three chains make that side. We're going to make one more corner. So we chain five. It's always five in the corner. Four, five. Skip the next chain space. Jump over to the following one with the single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Skip, single crochet. We get to do our very last, our very last side. That's how quickly round four goes. So don't be scared of the virus. So we're going to chain three like we did before three times. So there's one chain three, skip, single crochet, chain three for the second time, skip, single crochet, chain three for the third time, skip, single crochet right here. Now we're back to our very beginning and we need to finish this corner because we always have two chain spaces that are five stitches or five chains right here in every corner. Right here, right here, right here, and right here. So when we started we just did half the corner so what we want to do is chain five, four, five, skip this chain space, jump to the next one with a single crochet, And just our last thing that we want to do to finish off this round and make sure these are connected nicely is just do a slip stitch into our original five chain space. So there we go. There's our corners. So this is where we started. And this is where we ended to complete this corner. Corner here, corner here, and a corner here. So easy. Easy peasy. That's why I say do not be afraid of the virus. That was round four. We're already done. But that's all there is to it. You're just doing the base for all of the fans that we're going to start making in round five. So there's round four. That's all you need. So that's wonderful. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications so you can find out when part three, which is going to be round five, gets posted. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks. Bye. Easy peasy, hon. That's super fast.